everybody, this is Crypto Joe from Joe Knows the Cryptos, and welcome to my mid-2000 Soho condo apartment, I should say. Um, it's not really mine. It's a picture I found on the interwebs. I thought it looked kind of interesting. Anyway, we're here to talk about the drama that is the DeFi. A lot going on this week. This is your weekend rug update. I threw the rug in there. A um, lot going on in the DeFi. You know, obviously, I've been kind of silent for a little bit. I put out a video about OptX earlier this week. And a lot going on with that. I will tell you this. Let's start with Optimus. We're going to talk about OptX today. We're going to talk about uh, circulating money, Alpha Capital, Rely Fund, Prosperity Gem Ventures. We're going to talk about a lot of different projects. Let's get going. Let's talk about OptX. So this week, OptX, which was the Optimus that would end it all because they wouldn't have. It's a modular contract. They wouldn't have to put out other versions of Optimus because this one you can change. Well, OptX gave everyone 48 hours to either stay in the project or unstake if you were staked. And so the problem came, you know, if you looked at the charts, I'll uh, share screen. Let's see, I'm getting a little better. This still not great at it. Here we go. Here's the chart for Optim OptX. Um, you know, they released, people realized that you couldn't get your daily returns without taking a huge hit and penalty, kind of muddle along, you know, the DeFi dude would say something cool and then it'd pop up, then go back down. And then finally, boom, can't do your daily 1%. You can't take it daily. You got to wait till the end of the year. Well, this didn't make sense. If you look at the math on this, $1,000 compounded at 1% daily for a year turns into $37,000. Now you add up all the money that's staked. That's a lot of millions of dollars that I don't think is available in the DeFi right now. So I don't see the long-term, I don't see it. Someone else can help me. I don't see the long-term viability of staking your money thinking you're going to get um, 37 X on your money. I, I, I mean, that'd be really cool. I just don't see it happening now. In the, in the meantime, you know, the bots were supposed to turn on after 48 hours and sta staking 24 hours after they said they'd just turn the bots on. Well, if they turn the bots on, the bots don't do anything. If they didn't turn the bots on, um, well, we're waiting for them to turn on, but all that's going to happen in my opinion, and I could be wrong is that people, if the, if the bots buy, and the coin goes up, people are just going to use that as exit liquidity and get out of this project. I don't know. I hope it survives. I think they want to do a lot of cool things. I just don't think they thought through the tokenomics very much to understand that, you know, people can't 37 times their money with your money. It, it just doesn't work. Um, the coin's just going to go down, down in value if that's the case. So that's my opinion. I could be wrong. Um, everything here is is risky. By the way, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. We got a lot of cool things coming up. At the end, I'm going to tell you the future of this channel um, that has been influenced by a bunch of people lately. So let's let's move on. So Optex, not a rug though. This is not a rug, or at least a traditional one. Okay, circulate money. Um, circulate money is a very interesting one. Uh, this is one that that was promoted on a couple. Very reputable YouTuber channels, um, Jonathan from the FUD Farm, Murdoch DeFi were two of the ones that they they promoted this. I, I shouldn't say they promoted this. They talked about this on their channel. Their followers aped in um, because that's what people do. They look for, where I got money, where do I put it? Where do I put it? And and um, so 24 hours or 48 hours, they raised over $2 million this project. James was the developer according to the, the AMA that I saw. And so very convincing, but 24 hours, 48 hours later, rugged, pulled out the rug, um, took everyone's money. And I know this caused a rift in the, in, you know, with Jonathan and Murdoch, they did a video together, but neither here nor there. Um, this happens in DeFi, high risk, high reward, doesn't always pay off, right? So you, you, my opinion, this is my opinion. This is what I do is I try to hedge it out as many ways as possible. Now, it really sucks when you hedge it out. I had Optimus. I had Stable Fund. Um, the next one we're about to talk about is Alpha Capital. I had a little bit of in there, not a lot. Um, and Alpha Capital this week, oh, they got hacked. They got hacked. They got hacked is what they said. And that there's a little bit of BUSD left and they're going to re return that. But it's pennies on the dollar for what you had invested. Um, I don't know if this was a rug. It smells like a rug. And... You know, this was a cool project. I mean, this was a cool looking project. It kind of reminded me of stable one or stable co or stable fund, 
version, I don't forget which version, but one of them where you could, you know, you could take BNB, BUSD, Matic, and all these things. Oh, I, I'm not even sharing my screen here, am I? Oh, let's share my screen. Oh, I am sharing my screen. Sorry. Duh. Okay. So you could you could do these things. You could stake these ones and get a decent return. And their returns were based on how they did in the marketplace. So that makes sense. Look, the, on Wednesday, January 11th, which was the last day, they got a 1.3% return. Or you were getting a 1.3% return because they did a little bit better in the market. Well, geez, since then, the market's gone up. The, the crypto market has gone up significantly. If they had just stayed in, they could have made us so much money. But they didn't. They they got out or they got hacked. So um, don't know if this was a rug play. Really, 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 really smells like a rug play. Uh, let's get out of here. All right. So next one up, Prosperity Gem Venture. I really like this one. Just because I like it doesn't mean you should. Doesn't mean you should put your hard-earned money in here unless you're willing to lose it. Do your own research. Um, but this one is, it's been a good project. Manny, the developer creator, you know, he he's taken us a bit, on a bit of a roller coaster ride though. You know, I can tell you that when it first started, you know, then it went along, it went along as something, you know, first started as something different. They realized they couldn't make money in mining. So they called it ventures. And so they're, they're have a trading bot. Trading bots, I should say that Manny runs. Well, this project was so successful that he said no new money last year, end of last year. Um, and then they said new money. And then they said no new money. So here's where we're at. Our BSC contract has been capped out on deposits for good. So that sounds like it's closed down. This means no more deposits will be accepted on our BSC contract. You can still claim your rewards every seven days. You can't deposit any new money on there. You can't compound your money. You can only take the money out. And he said that this they'll, they'll keep working this. So I don't know exactly what's going to become of this. They were giving refunds. If you wanted your money out, you could take it. I probably should have taken my refund. I didn't. I left it in. I'll just keep taking my money out every seven days. Um, it is not full on the Polygon contract. So the Polygon, you can deposit money, you can complain, claim, and you can compound. Same with Tron. I believe Tron is the same. Yeah. So until those wallets fill up, and I'm starting to understand you know, this. I think he was capped out at 18 or 20 million on each, on each um, contract. And if you think about it, if $20 million in the DeFi is a lot of money, you are a market mover if you're moving $20 million around. So I don't know where he's got this invested. I think I've seen, you know, on, on the, on the discord, it talks about his trades and he's been posting a lot of trades lately. If I go over here to discord, if you're not on discord, you're blowing it. That's where a lot of the information is discord and telegram. I like discord way better than telegram. Here's prosperity gem ventures. He actually shows his trade bot results here. So he's trading, yeah, he's trading a lot of different cryptos, Ethereum, Al Algo, Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. And it looks like he does pretty well in his trades. I don't know how long of a period these in, are in. And then he, he actually posts trades from 1.6 to 1.13, shows you the closed PNL, um, long position, Ethereum, XTZ, Algo, so, you know, he's showing you some of these positions of the last week. Now, can this be faked? Absolutely. You know, is it? I, I don't know. Don't know. That's for you to decide. I have a little bit of money in here, a couple thousand bucks. Um, and that's about it for there. So Prosperity Gem Ventures, close down on BSC. If you want to put money in there, do it. I'm not even going to post a referral link. I don't care. I'm just showing you the things I do. Do whatever you want to do. Um I don't want to get death threats and hate mail and all these things because I'm not telling you to do anything. If you do anything, it's on you, not me. All right. Rely fund. Another one. You know, I, this one, this one has been really interesting. So they said we're we're, we're going to do NFTs when we hit a certain amount, but they did them well before. Th that doesn't smell good to me, but they raised a lot of money doing that. I don't know how many um NFTs they sold and what the return promises are. I know Brandon, the developer in the, in the discord somewhere, he said, you know, he was going to, he was going to dox. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if he's going to KYC. I just know I have a small bag in here and I like to pull out money every seven days. And so it's been working okay for me. Good luck to you. If you want to do that, good luck. Um, but that's where we're at with there. He said he's going to dox. Now we'll see what happens. That's about it. So Optex, not a rug. 
circulate money rug, full rug, Alpha Capital was a, we'll call it a um, possible rug. Uh, it was either a hack or a rug, one of the two. Either way, you lost your money. PGV, no rug there, but closed down. So if you do want to put money into PGV, it's going to be in Tron or Poly. And so with, with so much freaking crazy drama, I, I'm like, I feel more like TMZ sometimes than I do Fox or CNN. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but if you don't subscribe, please check in. I'm watching this stuff. You can check in on the weekends. I'm going to do some more um, uh, reviews of pro full reviews of projects. And I'm going to talk about every part of the project. I have a very specific evaluation method of projects before I get in. So I've got also on another note, I do am looking at other passive income plays that are not crypt necessarily crypto. Some of them are. They're bot trading plays that I've been working on for a while with some very good results I'd like to share. And then I'm also looking at some other Forex, MT4 type stuff, um, some PAM account things that I'd like to share with you as well. I just want to get a little bit more um, time for the research that I'm doing before I start spurting them out to you. And so my goal here is just to give you the information, to be that light of information, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, and just to let you know. I have I am, do not make money doing this. I, I, unless you start following me in, in droves, I, I just do it for fun. But I also do it because this is the thing. these are the things that I'm doing and I wanted to share with you so you don't make the same mistakes that I make or you see the way that I, I evaluate projects and you and you get to learn to way to help you evaluate the projects as well. So that's all I got. Hope you had a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.